Hello everyone, uh, welcome to today's video. So in this today's video, we'll be solving the problem duplicate subtree in binary tree. This is the problem of the day on uh, Geeks for Geeks. And this is a medium level question and has been asked by Google. So uh, this is uh, a medium level question, but still uh, the intuition or the idea to solve uh, is not very easy, uh, you know, to identify. Uh, like a previous experience of solving this problem would help you a lot in figuring out the approach. But if it's a uh, first time you people are encountering this problem, then it's completely fine. I'll tell you the best method to solve this question, uh, even a short code as well. So this has been the question given a binary tree, find out whether it contains a duplicate subtree of size two or more or not okay that's it that's a very basic statement so what is the node given two same leaf nodes are not considered as subtree as size of a leaf node is one all right so let us analyze this example example one that has been given to us uh, so the example one that has been given to us uh, let me write this here um, one two three and we have uh, two uh, like we have four and five here and uh, uh, yeah we have two four and five here okay so this is the subtree that I, uh, like this is the whole tree that has been given to us and now we need to true return true or false like here it is output is true reason being two four five is the duplicate subtree so that is the reason so what is the duplicate subtree here this whole part two four five and we can see the same part repeating over here, 245. So this is the uh, subtree that's been, uh, that's a like duplicate that's occurring for twice. Now, what is the node saying? Node saying that two same leaf nodes are not considered as subtree as size of leaf node is one. All right. So you might argue that, you might argue that saying that even these two are like this and this is occurring for twice, this and this is occurring for twice this and this is occurring for twice so there are totally uh, like um, like even these three are occurring for twice so we can consider them as individual things but we cannot so it's been clearly mentioned in the question that the subtree that you are taking is of size two or more all right so here this this and this this are subtrees of size one okay this is subtree of size one okay so that is the reason we will not be considering them so we need to like if if in so this case is like this uh, let us assume um, the data inside uh, okay i just uh, so this is 2 and this is uh, let us assume this is 7 and this is 5 okay now the answer would be false because there is no subtree all right there is no subtree that is actually yeah means uh, yeah we have a 5 here so let us even remove this 5 uh, i'll keep it as 6 okay so if it is like this then it is false you might say that 2 and 2 is matching 2 and 2 it's matching but still it's a subtree of size 1 we need a subtree of size more than 2 or equal to 2 all right so that's what they have mentioned right of size 2 or more all right so size 2 or more is what needed it's not the individual things that need to be matched rather the whole tree of sub uh, like whole subtree of size 2 or more all right so you can even match these two things or these two things or the whole subtree then it's completely fine but it's not the individual things that you need to match all right so i hope you people understood so what should be our approach in solving this question so getting a clarity about the question is done so what should be our approach all right so how do we actually proceed further so the basic fundamental thing or uh, the very common obvious thing when do you say that you have got the same uh, same subtree or something let me change this values first um to four five okay so when do you say that the same subtree has been repeated once again how can we confirm that that is the second issue so first issue is uh, like first problem is how to how to identify uh, how to identify or store the occurrences uh, the occurrences of a subtree okay of a subtree and second question is how do you uh, come to the conclusion like how do you identify or uh, how do you um, like uh, say that uh, like it's being repetitive okay how do you uh, confirm the duplicate uh, duplicates how do you confirm the duplicates 
okay so these are the two questions that need to be addressed now okay so very first question how to identify or store the occurrences of a subject so let us see this in uh, great detail so considering the one okay considering the uh, but uh, this uh, very root node that's been given to us the left subtree is 245 right the left subtree is 245 and the right subtree is 3 2 4 5 okay this is the right subtree and this is the left subtree for one for one for one this is the case now let us uh, write for two okay for two what is the left subtree four for two what is the right subtree five right so what if i store this particular parts that i'm actually undergoing okay what if i store this so what if i store four two five one three two four uh again we did a mistake so uh, for this particular thing okay for this particular thing what is the path from uh, left node so it is 4 2 5 okay and for this particular thing what is the path it is 4 2 5 all right and now for this particular 3 this particular 3 what is the path there is no nothing to the left of 3 so it would be empty so 3 4 2 5 okay so what would be the path for 1 it is 4 2 5 1 3 4 2 5 now see we have got this particular 4 to 5 repeating for twice okay so 4 to 5 indicates that it is a subtree which is like 2 4 and 5 and its length is uh, we can say that this length is this length is 3 right length is 3 so 4 to 5 length is 3 there are 3 characters and we can say that 2 4 4 to 5 has occurred for twice so we are able to see that 4 to 5 is a string of uh, length 3 so which is greater than or equal to 2 and it is also a string for twice so this confirms that there is a subtree like 2 4 5 which is occurring for twice right which is occurring for twice. so we return true all right so we return true so how do we do this how do we get this extra exact structure so how to get this structure that is the question i hope you people understood so how to get this structure particular structure for this uh, you know uh, oh, it is subtrees so I'll be saying that I'll be writing a function. So what is the function that I'll be writing? So I'll be taking a function string. Okay, string. I'll be taking a function string. So what does it do? So I'll be at each and every node at each and every node. I'll call the string function string function on my roots left. Okay, on my roots left plus I'll convert this particular data into the string. Okay, so to string and uh, that particular data roots data and i'll be calling the same string function i'll be calling the string string function on roots right okay roots right so on this first is what i'll be calling so i'll be getting the suffix uh, sorry prefix all right i'll be getting the prefix address and at this particular this would be my roots data roots data and to the right of it would be my suffix okay that would be my roots right okay this is right side of my root this is left side of my root okay so this is how i'll be doing so this gets the exact path or the structure of the tree that i am uh, looking so for the particular uh, node at that particular node what is that this is the particular node i am looking at so what is the structure that's being followed i'll be getting in this form this string will give that whole path of that okay so string root of left plus two string uh, root data and string root of right but what am i trying to uh, what am i missing here so i have actually found the path okay i like this this gives the path gives the path but how to uh, identify or confirm the duplicates? How do I identify it? I need to store that, right? So if this particular string, if this particular string is appearing once again, if this particular string is appearing once again, that confirms the duplicacy of the uh, subtrees. So how do I store it? How do I know that it is occurring for once again? So for that reason, we'll be using a unordered map, unordered map. So how do we use an unordered map? So unordered map will be of the type string and int. Okay. So string and int. So let us denote it with MP. So this MP will be storing a string and the particular frequency of that uh, string. So for example, uh, this particular uh, subtree. Okay. This particular subtree. This will be stored as a string two four five. All right. Uh, sorry. This particular will be stored as four two five. This is the substring that uh, this is the string that I'll be getting for this particular subtree, and this 
corresponding to this what would be stored mp of 4 to 5 would be equal to 2 because it's occurring for twice so once we are done the whole iteration on the tree we can iterate on the map and check a particular uh, substring okay the particular uh, it dot first of uh, if it's a uh, like if its length is greater than uh, 2 greater than or equal to 2 that is mandatory because we cannot consider individual nodes to be the uh, answers so we need to find a subtree which is greater than or of length greater than or equal to 2 so that's the reason our string length should be greater than or equal to 2 so if i find something like that and its int is greater than 1 okay greater than 1 in indicates that it's happening for twice or thrice or more than once all right so in that case i'll be returning true if i do not find any such sub any such string then i can return false so that's my logic okay so let us go through the code i hope you people understood the approach so this is the thing so first we have uh, taken an unordered, unordered map and secondly we have stored the string result structure of map so we need not need uh, actually store this it's just for the convenience because we have made us uh, you know uh, this thing the function as string so we need to store it so then we are iterating on the map and we are checking it dot first dot length greater than 2 and it dot second dot get is greater than 1 and if it's the case written one and or else written zero so this is a st uh, string function so string path is get the left string a uh, left subtree left subtree path left subtree path plus convert this into string to string and this is right subtree path okay right subtree path right subtree path so this whole thing gives the whole structure of the tree that we are looking at that particular node okay at that particular node if this is the node i'm standing so i'll be getting this whole path in in, in stored in path okay i'll be getting this whole structure stored in path and for that we are doing mp of path plus plus for the very first occurrence it will be uh, frequency would be one if it's uh, occurring for once again it will be more than one so that is how we are doing mp of path plus plus and return path okay so for this particular example if you really wanted to get into d like one two three so we'll analyze this here uh it's actually not needed but for extra clarity i'm doing this one two three uh four five and uh so here it is two four five okay so we'll be writing the individual path nodes so for four the path node will be four that's it uh, so it would be an empty string here it would be an empty string here all right because there are no left and right to it so for five same is the case then five empty string five empty string okay so this is how it is going to be okay so empty string four empty string and for five empty string five empty string what would be for four two it would be four two five all right so left is what will be storing to the left of two right is what will be storing to the right of two and in between uh, the character uh, the data of that particular node if i'm standing at this okay and what if i'm standing it here same case so uh, empty string four empty string okay there is no uh, left child for four no right child for four so this is how it will look like for five if i'm standing at five it would be empty string five empty string okay so this is how it looks like and when i'm standing at two my left node uh, my left node is uh, my uh, from left i'd be getting this uh, thing so i'll be getting four and for middle it will be my data that is two and for the right it will be my right side string that i'm going to get so five is what i'm going to get from right so this returns five this returns five this returns four okay same is the case this returns five this returns four so we get four to five and we will be getting four to five and when you're standing at uh, three okay when you're standing at three there is nothing to the left of three so it will be empty string and in between the character the data of the three and to the right that is four to five okay so four to five is what it will be written here four to five two returns four to five so this is how it looks like so and from two this particular position will be getting four to five and from this three will be getting three four two five okay and when you're standing at one okay when you're standing at one you'll be getting from the left we have got four two five from in the middle we'll be get putting the roots data and for the right we'll be putting three four three four two five all right so this is how it looks like so four two five has been repeated for twice so in the map the corresponding to map of four to five it would be two okay and map of four we are getting it for once and twice so it would be twice and mp of five mp of pi is also for twice all right so we'll be storing it for twice and mp of 3 4 2 5 mp of 3 4 2 5 it's only occurring for once so it would be one and mp of uh, this one 4 to 5 mp of 
four two five one three four two five which will also be equal to one so this these are the components that will be there in the map so only for this this is the one that satisfied the condition that it's greater than two the length is greater than or equal to two and its frequency is greater than one and here the length is just one okay length is just one so it doesn't satisfy a condition because these are individual nodes and this is a subtree of more than uh, length uh, greater than or equal to two so of three uh, three length right so this is the reason it is satisfying and if any one satisfies that's fine so we'll be returning true in this condition and these are only occurring for once all right so i hope you people understood what are we trying to do we are trying to get the extra exact structure and work on it and if it's if we find the same structure once again then we can confirm that there is a duplicacy and how can we store it using the help of a map okay and i hope you people understood so how uh, how do we do these things actually so if there are any doubts you can comment on in the comment section and also for your information the quotes in c++ java python have been given uh, i've been uploaded in the github repo and the link is there in the description so you people can actually uh, follow it for your reference so let us submit this code and check uh Okay, it's working completely fine. All right. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned.